They sent her to negotiate peace before this war started. Three days later, he went in and he started the war because everything they said was weak and stupid. They said the wrong things. That war should have never started. She was the emissary. They sent her in to negotiate with Zelensky and Putin. And she did. And the war started three days later. And that's the kind of talent we have with her. She's worse than Biden. In my opinion, I think he's the worst president in the history of our country. She goes down as the worst vice president in the history of our country. But let me tell you something. She is a horrible negotiator. They sent her in to negotiate. As soon as they left, Putin did the invasion. It is very well known that Donald Trump is weak and wrong on national security and foreign policy. It I want the war to stop. I want to save lives that are being uselessly people being killed by the millions. It's the millions. It's so much worse than the numbers that you're getting, which are fake numbers. Look, we're in for 250 billion or more because they don't ask Europe, which is a much bigger beneficiary to getting this thing done than we are. They're in for $150 billion less because Biden and you don't have the courage to ask Europe like I did with NATO. They paid billions and billions, hundreds of billions of dollars when I said, either you pay up or we're not going to protect you anymore. So that's maybe one of the reasons they don't like me as much as they like weak people. But you take a look at what's happening. We're in for 250 to 275 billion. They're into 100 to 150. They should be forced to equalize. With that being said, I want to get the war settled. I know Zelensky very well and I know Putin very well. I have a good relationship and they respect your president. OK, they respect me. They don't respect Biden. How would you respect him? Why? For what reason? He hasn't even made a phone call in two years to Putin, hasn't spoken to anybody. They don't even try and get it. That is a war that's dying to be settled. I will get it settled before I even become president. If I win when I'm president elect and what I'll do is I'll speak to one, I'll speak to the other, I'll get them together. That war would have never happened. And in fact, when I saw Putin after I left, unfortunately left because our, our country has gone to hell. But after I left, when I saw him building up soldiers, he did it after I left. I said, oh, he must be negotiating. It must be a good, strong point of negotiation. Well, it wasn't because Biden had no idea how to talk to him. He had no idea how to stop it. And now you have millions of people dead and it's only getting worse and it could lead to World War Three. Don't kid yourself, David. We're playing with World War Three, and we have a president that we don't even know if he's. Where is our president? We don't even know if he's a president. And, and just to clarify they here. They threw him out of a campaign like a dog. We don't even know. Is he our president? But we have a president, Mr. president that doesn't know he's alive. You're if Donald Trump were president, Putin would be sitting in Kiev right now. When I went to meet with President Zelensky, I've now met with him over five times. The reality is it has been about standing as America always should, as a leader upholding international new rules and norms, as a leader who shows strength, understanding that the alliances we have around the world are dependent on our ability to look out for our friends and not favor our enemies because you adore strongmen instead of caring about democracy. And that is very much what is at stake here. The president of the United States is commander in chief. And the American people have a right to rely on a president who understands the significance of America's role and responsibility in terms of ensuring that there is stability and ensuring we stand up for our principles and not sell them for the, for the benefit of personal flattery.